dark land where voodoo drums beat in the night, where the jungles are deep and full of secrets, and the moon that lights them is still a mystic moon. Africa, where men have not forgotten the evil they learned in the dawn of time. I always come back to Africa, but even here there is no rest for me. The path of time is curved upon itself like a circle, without beginning, without end. I must follow it forever. I cannot die. I cannot rest. I cannot rest. I cannot rest. Bless me, Father. Bless you, Mongo. Go on your way and have no fear. Bless us, Father. Bless you, children. Go on your way and have no fear. Bless you, Father. been away for 10 years. Less than 10 weeks. Have I changed? For the better. Only that's not possible. I'm uh, still wearing it. Mm, just wanted to make sure you didn't pick up some more of them while you were in Johannesburg. In a hospital for children. Well, how about the doctor? 60, skinny as a rail and bald. <sighs> well. Looks like you'll be needing a priest. Father Gilchrist. Hello, Father. This is going to make a lovely bride, Roy. Oh, Blarney. Blarney? Well, I like that. Well, you folks can stay out here if you like, but it's 10 degrees cooler inside. And uh, more of these. No, thanks, Tom. But I will take a nice, big, comfortable chair. I just trekked in from Alongo Village, <laughs> and I'm a little bit weary. The best chair in the house, Father. There you are. Two more, Esther. Those drums. They've been going like that for weeks. That's exactly what brought me back, Tom. Once a rumor gets started in the jungle, it spreads like wildfire. If you don't stop it, the natives revert to voodoo magic, witchcraft, superstition. Unless it's stopped, my business will be. All the native workers out at the plantation are either quitting on me or laying down on the job. Another murder out there Saturday. That's three in a month. Four. There was another last night right here in Bakunda, down the street. Oh, really? Well, uh, the three out of the plantation I've seen, each body partly drained of its blood, each with two peculiar wounds at the throat. Here. You know, if we were living a hundred years ago, I'd almost agree with the natives. A vampire. Oh, vampire. A dead man denied heaven because of his crimes, doomed to remain on Earth in hideous semblance of life, sustaining his body on the blood of the living. Oh, medieval Tommy Rod, it's just a legend. Yes, but a universal legend, Julie. Well, now, do you believe in it, Father? No, I don't believe in vampires. But I do believe with the church in the power of evil. Whether we believe it or not, something's going on. It's having a bad effect on my native workers. Same trouble here in town. Any ideas, Roy? Yeah, I thought I'd see Webb Fallon. Webb Fallon? Who's he? Fallon. Fallon. That's from the old Gaelic. It means the stranger. One who walks in the darkness beyond the campfires. And that describes Fallon. Now, he's a newcomer to Bakunda. Runs a dive down near the waterfront. Nobody knows exactly where he came from. And in Africa, you don't ask questions. Well, what can he do? Well, in the short time Fallon's been here, he's come to know more about Bakunda's underworld than most of the natives. 
If anybody knows what's going on, he does. I'll be back shortly. everything but my shirt down there now but you can't throw naturals forever here's my share of the trader boat become queen seven the devil himself couldn't have such luck hey you <laughs> Hey, everybody! The drinks are on me! Hey! Hey! Come on over here! Hey! That sailor, he'll make trouble. Go and dance, Lisa. Hello, Fallon. Well, Mr. Kendrick. Pretty rough on the guy, weren't you? Oh, I didn't ask him to play. Well. Box cars. You didn't come here to shoot craps with me or drink my bad gin. What's on your mind, Mr. Kendrick? Well, a lot of people come to your place, Fallon. All kinds of people. I thought you might know something about these mysterious killings. Yeah, but Kunda seems to have gone back into the old ways, in spite of the Father Gilchrists and all they can do. Well? Nobody could shoot a game like yours with straight dice, Fallon. I want my money back, and my ship, too. Take it easy, fella. I draw the dice myself. They're straight. Stay out of this, Kendrick. I... Watch up. Hey, Barrett. What happened to you? I don't know. It's the first time I ever quit a fight when a guy just looked at me. What happened to your mirror? Did you break it? Well, I removed it. The mirror's as bad as the sun if a strong light hits it. I have to be careful. I've got bad eyes. Africa's a pretty tough place for a man with eye trouble. Oh, I don't go out much in the daytime. When I do, I wear these. Come in. Excuse me, Mr. Fallon. 
You know the fellow you give your battered winnings to? The one that was buying drinks for the house? Yes. He just dropped dead out there. Heart attack, I guess. Not a mark on him. I'm sorry. Is there anything else, Jack? Well, no, I guess not. Except, what will I do with this? Give them to somebody else. Yes, sir. Don't touch that! I'm sorry, I was only looking for a cigarette. I didn't mean to speak so sharply. It's only that, well, this box means so much to me. 1588. The year of the Spanish Armada. But that's your name. And the name of my ancestor. Elizabeth Regina. Yes, she gave that box to the Webb Fallon of that day for services rendered to the Crown. Here, you wanted a cigarette. Well, thanks. That's uh, very interesting. Why don't you come to dinner and tell us about it? I'm staying at Tom Vance's place. I'm sure they'd like to meet you. I wonder. You're a lucky man, Roy. Found for yourself the loveliest girl in all Africa. Or anywhere else. Oh, a slight exaggeration, I might add. Cigar? Ah, oh, well, how can I thank you for a wonderful evening? The most charming people in Bakunda society. It has been a pleasure. Quite different from the life I usually lead. Mr. Fallon, do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh, please do. Just why do you lead this sort of life, a man of your intelligence and culture? Well, fate sometimes leads a man down strange pathways. A man always has a free will. Always. Sometimes things drive a man, regardless of his will. Things that may even tear his soul. There's always the church. Tom, a glass of water. It's all right, please. I'm sorry. I had a touch of malaria once. These attacks are quite frequent. Simon Peter, coffee for Mr. Fallon. Oh, please, just be seated over there. I'll be all right in a moment. <sighs> Let's talk about something else. Yes, boy, I will have some coffee. Those drums again. Malongo Village. Malongo Village? You can read the code. Part reading, part guessing. There's a witchcraft cult in Malongo Village. That's where the trouble usually starts. It is a bad village. Has been for some time. I wonder if that's the place the vampire rumor started. Perhaps we ought to get a few men together and go up there. Might be a good idea. It is a good idea. I'll go there with you if you like, Roy, if you want company. Of course I want company. But are you sure you're well enough? Oh, I'll be all right in the morning. Shall we start at dawn? At dawn. What broke that mirror? Evil, Mr. Roy. Evil. Miss me. No, it's just a flesh wound. Simon Peter, better wash it out. The shot came from over there. Gun trap. You set it off yourself when you hacked at this. This is the second time you saved my life, Fallon. 
How can I say thanks? Oh, don't try. We're getting into bad country. I think we'd better make camp here for the night unless you want to run into more of these. Yeah, I guess we'd better. Wanna follow him here. IQ now. Me Taba here. Bullet come from front over there. Bullet hit top. Same bullet. Why bullet no go through Buana Fallen? The bullet did pass through his body, but there's no mark, no bleeding, nothing. Vampire. Taba, he must be destroyed. Bullet won't destroy him. What will? A spear dipped in molten silver. Drums, they stop. Feel it searing me. There's no blood on it, Roy. Fallon. You know now the drums were telling the truth. Why you look at me? You're seeing a creature that doesn't exist. You're looking at a legend. The natives knew as soon as they saw the first body, the first victim. They knew what creature it is that must have human blood to live. Stay, Roy. Listen to me. 400 years ago, there was a young woman. I caused her death. Since that time, I've been under a curse. The curse of the undead. Young people like you and Julie, I destroy them. I cannot die. I live on and on to destroy peace and happiness. No, Roy. Put down the spear. Put it down. You can't fight me. I have walked the earth for 400 years. I've learned things that no human being can ever know. 
No man is strong enough to fight me. Kneel. What do you see? Only your eyes. Do you hear me? I hear you. Your mind belongs to me. From now until the day you die. You will never speak of this. Never. I will never speak. Ugh. Under my head is the box containing the earth from my grave. The box Queen Elizabeth gave me after the Armada. Carry my body to the mountaintop. Lay my head on the box and leave me where the rising moon will bathe me in her light. Let nothing stop you. Tarver, dead. Simon Peter shot. Can't talk. Hurt bad. Take him back to the plantation. Safari is over. Tomorrow I'm starting back to Bukunda. We've been expecting you every day. Glad to see you back, Roy. Sorry I couldn't see it through with you, but these attacks of malaria. I'd have been more of a hindrance than a help. Anyway, you did a pretty good job without me. Oh, a fine job, Roy. The killings have stopped and all the natives are quiet. Well, we haven't heard the drums for some time now. Julie, Fallon's. Fallon's. What are you trying to say, Roy? I, I, I don't know. I, I can't seem to. It's the fever. Uh. 
You'll rest now. Fever and a bad one. I've never seen such violent delirium. He's going to need care. Well, he'll stay here, of course. Oh, yes. I'll take care of him. You won't be able to do it alone, Julia. I'd like to help, if I may. That's very kind of you. Not at all, Julia. I'd do anything to help you. Come in. Hello, Julia. Am I late? Not at all. I just stopped to get some fruit for Roy. How is he? I can't understand it. Normally, the fever goes after a few days, but this has been going on for two weeks now, and there's no change. Oh, he's come out of it once or twice, long enough to ask me to wire to Johannesburg for this book. I can't imagine what he wants with it. But he was so violent about it, the doctor said it might make him worse if he didn't get it. It's a horrible legend. Listen. Death, often the most dreaded of human experiences, is denied the vampire. He must prowl the earth endlessly. The real menace of the vampire comes from the fact that in many ways he appears normally human. He can become one of you. And all the while his curse is upon you. The curse of the undead. It gives me the creeps. It's only a book, Julie. Let's go and see how the patient is, shall we? You've been very kind to spend so much of your time here. You've been very kind to let me. You're tired, Julie. I'll stay with Roy. Thanks. Oh, Julie. I almost forgot. I have something for you. Oh, it's beautiful. But... Oh, please. Being here in this house has given me a new interest. Showed me a side of life I am not accustomed to. I'm grateful. Go and rest, Julia. You're one of the nicest people I've ever known. Fallon. I'm glad you're awake. Your book came, Roy. I can save you the trouble. The chapter you want begins on page 97. The cross has great power over the undead. They cannot bear its paralyzing touch. But the undead can be completely destroyed in only one way. The body must be consumed with fire and the ashes scattered. Did you really think that you could destroy me? I heard you just now with Julie. That's why you've been coming here, to be with her. Maybe it is, Roy. You destroy happiness. People like Julie and me. You come between them and destroy them. You told me that yourself, at night out in the jungle. Let us alone, Fallon. I like it here. I like Julie. One day soon, she'll join me in eternal life. You can't, Fallon. I'm telling Father Gilchrist. I'm telling you... You are not telling anybody. There's nothing you could do to stop me. Nothing. You were at the Vance house. That's right. You were there last night and the night before and every day. You practically live there. Keeping track of me, Lisa? It's that Vance girl, Julie. She's the main attraction, isn't she? The only attraction. Good night, Lisa.
What's the matter? Did you give you the brush off? Let me alone. You don't have much luck with Fallon, do you? Neither do I. How about teaming up? What do you mean? I'm well healed again. I'm looking for a chance to even up the score. You can't win. Are you sure? I'll cut the cards with him. One draw. High man. When he calls for a deck of cards, you bring this deck. Why do you think you can win with that deck? This is why. One draw. One draw. Eight high. Shuffle the cards, Lisa. You first. Peter King. I'll draw for Mr. Barrett. I might bring him luck. Ace of diamonds. I think that tops you. <laughs> I think so, too. The drinks are on me, sister. Come on, boys. Luck runs in streaks, Felon. Yours just started downhill. Babe? We may regret it. <laughs> Leave the regrets to Fallon. How about helping me spend some of this? him tonight, when he left, after the game. Why did you come here? Why? Don't be afraid, Lisa. Look at me. I'm 
I'm speaking to you, Lisa. You can think of nothing else. Come to me, Lisa. Now. No. No. Lisa. Lisa. I'm sorry I can't help you, gentlemen. Barrett was here last night, and so was Lisa. As far as I know, they left together. But I've no idea what happened to them after that. Well, Mr. Fallon, we understand that Barrett did some gambling here last night. That, as a matter of fact, you yourself lost a considerable sum of money to him. You're trying to attach a motive to me, gentlemen? Oh, nonsense, Fallon. We know you better than that. Furthermore, we mustn't forget that Barrett's winnings were found in his pocket, untouched. The killer could have been frightened away. No, I doubt it. And even if robbery were the motive in Bear's case, how do you account for the murder of the dancer? You've known this girl for some time, Mr. Fallon? Yes, she worked for me here ever since I opened. I was very fond of Lisa. I don't know where I'm going to find another dancer half as good. Well, uh, what puzzles us most, Mr. Fallon, is the strange circumstances of death. In both cases, the bodies had peculiar punctures at the throat. In both cases, the bodies were partly drained of blood. We don't know how to explain it. Neither do I. All I can say is that these two new deaths are very similar to those that have been throwing the natives into a panic. Well, unfortunately, that's all any of us can say. Those drums. Unless we settle this thing soon, we're in for a bad time. Wakunda has turned into a ghost town. Not a native left at the docks. Not a native left at the rubber plantation. Even the women and children are gone. Gentlemen, you can see for yourselves what this trouble's done to my business. Then you can't suggest anything that will help us out. Nothing. I'm sorry. Expect you at the house this evening. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Good day, gentlemen. Good, Good day. day. It's in my eyes. Draw the curtains. You heard me, Roy. Draw the curtains. I see you've been reading your book again. You've learned the undead are chained to their graves. I'd give anything to chain you to yours. Were you going to throw that earth out of the window? If you did, do you know what I'd have to do? I'd have to go back for more before the next full moon. That's all. Well, there's the window. Go ahead, scatter it. Let Julie alone. Let us both alone. Go away, anywhere, away from Bakunda. Where to? This has all happened before. It'll all happen again. No matter where I go. Until the end of time. You look human. Isn't there any human soul left in you? Do you have to kill and destroy? On the contrary, I bring life to my victims. Didn't you read that in your book? Lisa will rise from her grave and walk again, just as I did. So will Barrett. So will Julie. <laughs> You bother with a dagger when even a bullet couldn't hurt me. You've forgotten your book, Roy. Go back to Julie while you still have the chance. She won't be with you much longer. are gathering at their villages. They've decided to take matters in their own hands. They blame Fallon. Blame Fallon? Yes, I'm afraid this settles it. 
Fallon will have to leave Bakunda at once. Leave? But you can't do that to him. It's for his own protection, Julie. Giving up everything, that's protection. Oh, please, try to understand. I think I do understand. You're afraid. Somebody has to be blamed and Fallon's the outsider. Julie, that's not the point. No, I can see that. Fallon's tried to help in every possible way. Yet you're willing to take away everything he has and drive him out of here. Because these silly things have happened and... Do you want to see him killed? I want to see you find out the truth. Dad, don't you realize that driving Fallon out of here isn't going to stop this thing? It'll just start all over again and then you'll have hurt him and... all for nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid we'll have to risk that. And you, Roy, are you going to risk it too? Well, why don't you speak up? Fallon saved your life not once but twice. He made that trek through the jungles with you and he's been taking care of you through your sickness and... Well, why don't you say something? Why don't you defend your friend? Julie, please. Roy's not well, you shouldn't. Well, what's the matter with him? What's the matter with all of us? Julie's upset. Nerves on edge. We're all that way. Don't let it worry you, Roy. I'm glad you're here, Father. There's more trouble. Yes, I know. I heard it on the drums. That's the reason I came back. I'm on my way to see Webb Fallon. I won't be long. In the meantime, I wish you'd have a talk with Julie. I will, Tom. Roy, first I'd like to have a little talk with you. You're the real reason I came back. The drum said you were very ill. Is it the fever? Roy, look at me. The drums say it isn't the fever. It is something else. Something deeper. Something that I can help you with. Tell me about it. I... I can't, Father. Roy, you've got to believe that a man's free will cannot be controlled by another. Unless he cooperates. And that's exactly what you've done. You've let Fallon control your will. It's up to you to stop it. What's the use, Father? It's too late. It's never too late if you really want help. The place for that help is the house of God. Shall we go there together, Roy? Tom, glad to see you. Good evening, Fallon. Voodoo magic. That's what I came to see you about. Come in, let's shut out that wind. Ah, it's not a focus focus. I don't let it bother me. Well, it's getting rather serious. Do you know what those drums are saying? Sure, I can read the drums. According to them, I'm the cause of all the trouble here. Don't tell me you believe that, Tom. Oh, of course not. But these rumors have a way of spreading, of getting out of control. It's gotten to a point, Fallon, where... Well, I'm concerned for your personal safety. Oh, well, thanks, Tom. A glass of sherry? No, thank you. Do you think these rumors are as serious as all that? Enough that I'd like to see you leave Bikunda for a while, until this thing blows over. Want to leave my business? What there is of it? I think it's the wise thing to do. Oh, just for a month or so. Of course, it won't solve our problem, but at least it will clear you in the eyes of the natives. I wish you'd consider it, Fallon. It is considered, Tom, and decided. I'll leave Bakunda as quickly as possible. Well, thank you. I don't think either one of us will regret it. Now, there's a boat scheduled to sail in the morning, the Bakunda Queen. Not the Bakunda Queen, Tom. No skipper since the death of Barrett. Don't worry, I'll find some way of leaving the country. Good night, Fallon. Good night. Good luck.
Simon Peter, you're well again. But not in the heart, Mr. Roy. Those drums, what they say about Mr. Fallon is true. You must believe it. I do believe it. I've believed it ever since that night out in the jungle on the safari. And yet you do nothing, Mr. Roy? I couldn't. It was like being sick with fever. Even my tongue was tied. The curse of the undead. Roy. You shouldn't be on your feet like this. Sit down. I'm all right. I'm well again. Father Kilchrist helped me free myself of Fallon. Free yourself? I don't understand. I've been under his control ever since that night out on the safari. I hadn't been able to tell anyone until tonight. I think we'd better be on our way, Roy. Stay here with Julie. Don't let her out of your sight, not for a second. Stay with Julie? Where is she? Isn't she here? Not in her room. I thought she was with you. Fallon. She's gone to Fallon. Box of Earth. It would be right there if he intended to come back. But that's... that's Julie's. She's gone, Tom, with Fallon. What about the Bacunda Queen? It's scheduled to sail at dawn. Not until next week. There's no skipper to replace Barrett. There's no other ship in port. Well, if they went by motor, they're either bound for Angana or Calabar. I'll get Dylan to open the telegraph office. Not a chance in a million they went anywhere but straight into the back country. We can't telegraph into the jungle. Oh, wait a second. We can. Simon Peter, the drums. No, 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 wait. If we let the natives know Fallon's out there in the jungle, there'll be an open fight. I'm thinking of Julie. Tell the tribes this is our Juju. We don't want them to interfere. We'll get Fallon ourselves. All we want is their help to locate him. Send it like that. Zamba's village. They have seen nothing of Fallon or the lady. Ask them to relay our message and have each tribe that receives it relay it again.
Alan and the lady have been seen on the trail near the Malunga village trekking north. Repeat the message that no one is to interfere. Keep all the drums working. We want to report on the drums of their position each time they're seen. Roy, there's no chance to get carriers now. We'll have to go alone with light packs and rifles. Rifles are useless, Tom. I mean against Fallon. Well, something's got to stop him. I'm going with you. Well, not on a trek like this. I know these jungles, Roy, and I might be needed. This is Etoba village, Julie. We can stop here. What was this place? A temple village sacred to the death god of a forbidden cult. The cult was destroyed, but the temple was never touched. Native taboo says that those who come here will die. What a terrible thing to worship death. There need be no death, Julie, if you know the way. I can show you the way. Where can we rest? Up here. here until moonrise. They were seen entering the Itoba village. How far is that? About two hours, pushing hard. The moon should rise in a little less than two hours. You mean we can't make it? We've got to make it. The path of time is curved upon itself like a circle, without beginning, without end. A man may follow that path forever if he chooses. But he need not walk alone. We could walk that path together, Julie. We could visit worlds that no human eye has ever seen. Will you come with me, Julie? I'll go with you. Always. Sleep, Julie. Sleep. When the moon is risen, you will be beyond death. It's almost moonrise. Well, let's keep going. Julie, this box contains the earth from my grave. It's not a sign of death, Julie. It's a sign of power in another world. Julia, I'll no longer be alone. You'll be with me. You will walk with me through the dark shadows of eternity. Pull it out, Roy. It burns. It's burning. It's burning. 
stunning. Dream. But it's all over. 